the Czech Republic hasn't slept. All of her friends are like drunks, no. and ho I'm hoping they make an appearance. I hope they find her. Yeah. So ba so basically, I told them, guys, I have to go off and do this Twitch show with um, Hustler Honey, but I didn't tell them where I'm located. But you never know; um, they may find me. So I apologize in advance. So we're going to do international headlines first. South Korea. Ding, 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 ding. So the WPT Korea that was originally scheduled to take place in September has been canceled due to COVID. Okay, next flag. So China at the moment, um, there's an event called the China Poker Games. So it's in Hainan in a city called Sanya, and that is host to the China Poker Games. So this is um, a very large tournament. So this event, um, they're expecting over 3,000 runners for the main wow. event. And they added more flights. So Amazing. last year there was three flights. I believe this year there's at least five. Wow. Philippines, Philippines, Philippines. So the Asian Poker Tour, one of my favorite tours, um, they were supposed to host in Manila September 8th to the 21st, and that is now mm -hmm. canceled. So, so we're leaving the APAC region, and now we're going to the um, yeah. European continent. I'll give you that clue. Spice Girls. I'll tell you what, what I, I really, want, really what I really, want. really, so really want. what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I want to, I want to. I wanna, I yeah. wanna, I really, really, really wanna. Zika, zika. Yeah. So, so the United Kingdom we have. Um, so we announced before that um, the casinos in the UK were given the green light to open on August 15th. This week, we seen some posts from Grovesner Poker. So they opened about 17 rooms. Like for example, now they're open in Birmingham, Leeds, Liverpool, Plymouth, Luton. So basically almost everywhere. So that was more positive news um, coming out of the UK. So another um, piece of sad news coming out of Europe. So the Masters Classics of Poker for 2020 has been canceled. So that was originally scheduled for November and now that is canceled. Big news out of um, Switzerland. <laughs> um, so the Henda mob announced um, a while ago that there will be an IPO, which is the Italian Poker Open held at Casino Lugano. So that is still scheduled to take place September 7th to the 13th with the 1000 um, Swiss franc buy-in. Um, different to how it is run previously, there's really no side events. So basically it's only the main event and two satellites to satellite into the main, but on individual days. So then we got even better news that from September 1st, one of the casinos by me, the Grand Casino Baden, will be opening and they'll be offering poker tournaments again. Right, every week we show this flag, um, it's the Czech Republic where I'm at at the moment. Like everyone's really just like, you know, asking each other or planning, you know, are you staying this weekend? You know, are your country's borders open? You know, can you get home? So although, you know, people here are relaxed, having fun playing poker, I would still say it's on the back of everyone's mind. You know, can we get home um, if we stay like 10 more days? Yeah, so I don't know. Did do, do we manage to cap capture a tweet from the GG happening yeah. this morning? Because so, that, that also was just like four hours ago. <laughs> so they paused. Yeah, it froze again. So who was affected by this? GG presses pause. Mm -hmm. We apologize for the players who are playing the following events. The Bounty Hunters main event, 210, which was 1,104 players. The Bounty Hunters Sunday special, which was $84, 422 players. The first three got cancelled due to one of the tournament servers crashing. As a side mm. effect, the Big 50 also got delayed one and a half hours from people sitting out. Within 24 hours, we will be refunding according to our tournament refund policy. policy. Okay, yeah. And then I saw that additional tweet that apparently for those players who made day two of the big 50 they also got their 50 dollar buy-in back um for their inconvenience which i thought was really nice of gg poker yeah so queen bee just said they emailed me 50 with 50 dollars plus 150 tournament dollars on top of the refund of the event 
Um, yeah, so Queen B, let us know when you get your refund, just because there has been some, yes. like, misinformation. So apparently tweet, GG Poker tweeted this, that is it, someone asked, is it $50 or a $50 tournament ticket for a tournament? And GG replied, $50 cash. And then mm. um, that tweet was deleted. So everyone was then looking, they're like, oh, well, oh. I read it was $50 cash, not tournament. So that to me means it's probably going to be tournament money once they d have deleted that yeah. tweet. GG Poker had the big um, meltdown at the start of their series. Then um, everything seemed to have been going okay, right? Um, I did mention a couple times to me, they did cut a lot of games from their um, lobby. And also I felt like a lot of satellites went missing. But like what I was seeing in July was not the same that I was seeing at the beginning of August. Um, and now, you know, they have the record breaking event for WSOP. They know 4,000 players are coming. You would have thought that they would have been a little bit more prepared for the traffic, right? Based on the other um, mishaps that happened also with the large traffic events. But we also had the problems today. But to me, you know, we have to give them credit. In my opinion, they're handling it well, but let's see, you know, if they get refunded and how the players are refunded. Event 71, the big 50, had 44,750 entrants or runners. <laughs> 44,576 <laughs> runners, which is a new World Series of Poker record. The prize pool was 2 million, or is, the prize pool is $2,050,496. And they're going to pay, they're only paying 2,300 places. I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream that I'm really actually excited for this because I want to get back into playing online poker cash and I've been trying to figure out what site to play on and devote my time to and stream from and last week we were talking about we want to support sites that have a vision that we agree with and run it once does and so this week they're offering 101% rake back returned to the players so this is the week to start and then they have a bunch of other promotions so does that mean you're gonna start playing on stream again yeah but probably not this week uh, so last week we talked about tobias just Weiler, who took to the two plus two forums to complain about his experience on gg poker i honestly feel like gg listens to the stream or something they listen to they at least are listening to what players are complaining about because they've extended the olive branch and they're saying for a limited time only we're extending an olive branch to previously banned players on gg network if you have been banned and wish to return we are taking applications for the next two weeks till september 5th please read our stance on pros here. So that was always the thing. Like Gigi had this reputation of being a place that didn't want pros, but Gigi has kind of now come out with what their stance is. The whole point that Gigi Poker is trying to make here is for a poker to survive, it, you can't just be bomb hunting. We need more players to come into the game. So they're saying we like streamers we like vloggers we like popular twitter people we like popular people that are promoting the game those are the good pros the regular pro from our standpoint there's nothing wrong with this person they, they're continuously studying their game improving and crushing their field so they're not bringing players to the game they're just studying but they're not going to be like bum hunting or anything like that and then they have the bad pros. So these are the ones that they're saying are the type of people that they're going to ban. A bad pro focus on, focuses on manufacturing unfair advantages over the opponents and exploiting other perceived weaknesses. During gameplay, they might use real-time solvers, which obviously we're all against, use advanced charts, data mine, bum hunt, collude ghost and so on so i think those are all things that we can agree on that we don't want to be playing against those type of players and if you can just keep them off of the site that's fair so previous week we we're talking about the gg poker bands but this week easter dams who is a belgium gg twitch streamer 
says he was banned from poker stars. This is one thing that I have an issue with is sites banning you and not giving you any reason because that actually scares me and it just scares me that this is possible. Twitch chat made me do it!